guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is super gloomy. Um, I'm absolutely living for the rain right now. Um, I just wanted to say as well, hello and thank you to all the new subscribers who have joined recently. We've hit our goal of 2,500 subscribers, so thank you so much for joining. And if you are new, just leave a little comment down below because I'd love to get to know you. So our new goal is to get to 3,000 because the quicker that we get to 3,000 subscribers, I want to do a giveaway. So yes, thank you so much to everyone who has joined recently. For today's video, it's gonna be an empties video. It's gonna be a long one, um, so stop, take pauses, go grab a drink, a snack, that kind of thing. It's about, I would say it's just under two months worth of empties. There's a lot of body care in here. I feel like I'm starting to get back into my makeup. I kind of got out of it, got in a bit of a slump. I feel like I'm getting back into it again. Um, so there might be some more makeup ones, like kind of more makeup heavy ones in the future, but there is no particular order. I'm just gonna pick some bits off at the start. So, straight away, first off, out the gate, we have got, oh my God, we've got some Lush, we've got two Lush shower gels, we've got Intergalactic and Freeze, so we've got two minty shower gels. This one is exactly like the Bath Bomb, so it kind of got more of a depth to it. And this one had um, gold sparkles in it. If you've ever seen the Lush Kitchen gift box, it's in there. This was, I think, from the kitchen box. And then Freeze is also from the Lush Kitchen subscription box, and this is like more of a pure peppermint. These guys have kept me going through the hot summer months that we've been having here in the UK. I know the UK is probably not the hottest in terms of like other countries out there, but we do not have the infrastructure like aircon and things like that in our houses, and it is so dense well it has been so dense and thick and muggy that like literally you just it's just awful like literally just come back off holiday and it would it's the same temperature abroad there as what it has been over here if not hotter but when you go back to that hotel room it's full of ac and it's beautiful so there's something about uk heat that just makes you want to die <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, those those two nice um, kind of cooling shower gels I really enjoyed. We have got some stuff from uh, Glossy Box. Have I got anything else from Glossy Box over here? Just while I'm here. No, this is the Replenishing Rapid Recovery After Sun Gel in a rich with soothing aloe vera and nice amide. This is from Mine. I don't know what the hell that is on my finger. Mine Tan Body Skin. This is it here. Can't remember which glossy box this came out of. Uh, I think this was last year's. Very runny, but really nice. Um, I used this on holiday because I got very burnt. My back looks like the Xbox controller logo, Xbox logo. Um, but I really enjoyed this, so I'm, I'm I'm glad that that was there. And it was a good size. It was 50 mil, so because I had hand luggage, I managed to be able to take it through with no problems. Also, I like to put my stuff here, out of the way, so I can recycle it. We have got three, four things from Avon. Get this out of the way. Um, disclaimer, I don't mind buying things from Avon. If you don't like buying things from Avon, that's fine. We don't have to get into a debate about it. But I've got two roll-ons. I really enjoy the roll-ons. I've been using these since I was a teenager. Um, they're the, pretty much the only roll-ons that really work for me. And I think I've only got one left now because they discontinued a lot of their roll-ons. So a bit gutted about that. I've got, oh, I tell a fib I've got an extra thing. I've got the Fabulous Curls Shampoo and Conditioner. This has like a, just a generic shampoo smell. Um, it was okay. I, I didn't see any difference with the curls that I had. I did find that this had maybe like a low lather to it. I felt like I ended up using more the first few times I used it because it wasn't as bubbly as other shampoos that I'd been using. But yeah, I probably, there's probably better curl products out there. Um, but if you are on a budget, you've got that there. Put those over here. And also we have a hand wash. This one is pure with white musks and bamboo leaves. Yeah? Just really like you know, a gentle, clean, fresh sort of a smell. Can't go wrong with the hand washes, they're like a pound. What next have we got? We've got some things from Marks and Spencers. Cause I'm a bit posh, you know. <laughs> Not that posh. Uh, we've got a candle and we've also got the Calm Apothecary a Fragrance with Lavender, Sweet uh, Wild Orange Oil, uh, Clary Sage and Cedarwood Bath Oil. 
This is came part of that set that I've mentioned before in previous videos. It came like in a vegan leather bag. Um, I've got like a roll on uh, fragrance and some other bits. I really love the range. The candle smells really good. This one, the Tranquil, is patchouli, balsam, mandarin and sandalwood. So it's very like earthy and hempy and just yummy. But it's not that strong. So it was a little bit disappointing. Um, obviously it's a small candle, so probably best in your bathroom, which is where I used it. And I didn't feel like it really fragranced the room. And my bathroom is not the biggest. But overall, I like the aesthetic, I like the smell. Maybe just get something else in that smell instead. That's not a candle. The bath oil's great, and I just love how it's in glass packaging. When you pour it in, the water goes milky and Let's have a smell. Ooh, that made a good noise. Yeah, just like dead relaxing. Just dead, like a lavender smell with something else to it. Very nice. Like, I'm so glad I've got rid of all this stuff. I've had this stuff building up for quite a while. I should, well, yeah, like two months, so it's quite a lot. Um, and I'm glad to, oh, and there's another thing. Um, the matching, sorry, the matching uh, body wash as well. And I'm so glad to finally make some space in my bathroom and my bedroom. The body wash from, from Mark Spencer's was nice. I just, we just used it as hand soap because I had a pump. I've got some more Lush stuff here. I've got the Ectoplasm Shower Slime and some Ocean Salt Body Scrub. I feel like I'm having another Ocean Salt Body Scrub. Yeah, it's down the bottom here, so I'm going to get these out of the way. Excuse me, s'il vous plaît. Great, just throwing it over there. So I've got two Ocean Salts. Um, I like Ocean Salt, this is the self-preserving version, so this is the vegan version. It has a slight, in my opinion, I feel like they're both really coarse, but the self-preserving one feels a little bit finer, even though they're both really coarse. And it's a little bit more moisturising, because it's preserved with more oils and butter, so if your skin's a little bit more on the drier side, or if you are vegan, you have that there. Now they do have lime steeped in vodka, which is really astringent on the skin, but if you are sensitive to alcohol, you can get the alcohol-free version on the website. So we've got that there. Actually, I'll just put them in my lush bag. And when I say my lush bag, excuse me for jumping down here, this is my, I've got a bag here full of empties, which I'm gonna take in for, to get my Halloween stuff. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that, to get all the Halloween items. Next, ectoplasm, obviously Halloween. This was last year's shower slime. If you go to my Instagram, uh, I'll leave it here, at Sarah Jameson anyway, it's the same name. If you go to my reels, you'll see me kind of stringing the shower slime from, from the ectoplasm. And this had a very bright orange smell, almost like someone had squeezed an orange within it. I like the textures of the shower slimes. This flavour or smell was nice, but I'm looking forward to this year's showered slime more because there's something a bit more special about it. It has a bit more kind of a an autumnal smell. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one more. I can go in there. Um, we've got some... We've got an item from... Is that the, oh, no, we've got two items from Bath Bake Love, which I really miss. I miss um, Sarah Meg's business. This was a really cute indie brand. This is the Blueberry Sky uh, Whip Soap and the Creme Brulee Whip Soap. The Blueberry Whip... Blueberry Sky, sorry, was blue, and it smelled like uh, artificial blueberries, and it had, like, dollops of dark blue inside to kind of obviously look like blueberries. I will say that those big dollops of dark blue kind of dye did stain your fingers so you kind of ended up looking a little bit smurfy so I wasn't the biggest fan of that and whilst I do like blueberries the artificial blueberry was a little bit sickly so I just kind of alternated between the other ones that I really liked the creme brulee one was delicious it's really um gentle um really creamy and yummy um I've got the happy place cosmetics whip soap in afterglow and that smells really similar to the creme brulee so definitely oops see there if you miss bath big love i would recommend trying happy place cosmetics because they have similar products and they also have wax melts and things like that as well and we have i'm going to grab some more lush stuff because it's right here i've got four things here i've got a black empty container which i cannot remember what was in there so i'm just going to throw that in there if only i did these quicker i would remember I've got some um, Snow Fairy body conditioner. I've got a Cosmetic Warrior uh, fresh face mask and a Sweet Wild Orange hand balm. Well, obviously, 
you know that Snow Fairy smells like candy floss. Um, we've got the body conditioner which you use in the shower. Lovely and rich and moisturised. We've got the like, mango butter and things like that in it. I would love that Snow Fairy body scrub that was in the Lush Kitchen subscription box last Christmas to come out. I need more of that body scrub. It smells so good. So we've got that there. I finished it. Um, I don't think I've got any more body conditioners. Oh no, I think I've got one or two little pots like that again. Um, actually, I tell a fib. Two Cosmetic Warrior fresh face masks. I like Cosmetic Warrior. I know we've got the new Cosmetic Warrior um, face fresh face mask, unless I've already done that one and obviously the new cosmetic warrior is vegan that was for the fresh and flowers box and that had a very gentle floral smell almost a little bit like marlin hair mask from lush whereas this you can really smell the tea tree oil and garlic so you might be thinking well what is cosmetic warrior so it's a fresh face mask um which has garlic in it and tea tree oil so it's really good for helping with breakouts it's not vegan it has honey in it and they've replaced the egg that used to be in it with aquafaba um, it has white grapes in it which contain malic acid which just gently exfoliate the skin without an actual scrub they make the skin look lovely and bright i really like this it's a nice gentle face mask but i think sometimes people think that they can smell the garlic but really it's the tea tree oil and it puts them off sweet wild orange oil i love the smell of this tiny little bit left again that kind of really fresh bright orange smell. If you like the repeat foot balm or orange body scrub, you're gonna really like that. I feel like the Sweet Wild Orange has a bit more of a tang to it, a little bit of a bitterness note to it, but it's very strong, very pungent. So if you're looking for a hand cream from Lush that has a smell, because um, obviously at the moment I think there's only Handy Guru Goo or Helping Hands, and Helping Hands doesn't really have much of a smell, and Handy Guru Goo is a little bit lemony, um, but not too strong. If you want something that's quite punchy, then you've got the Sweet Wild Orange Oil and it's such a mood lifter because it's so citrusy. I really, really like it. And it soaks in nicely as well. We've got, oh, now this, I'm just bringing this over here. I really enjoyed. This is the, I'm gonna say this wrong. This is the Amoro Vixca uh, Budapest Scrub. I got this in my Look Fantastic, I didn't get Glossy Box Advent Calendar. The Look Fantastic Advent Calendar last year, but this was in the new look one. You look, look fantastic, oh my god. And it was a very dark green. I'll leave a link to that advent calendar at the end. And it had a very fine scrub. It, you know, if you put it on, you might think, well, there's nothing there, but when you go to wash it off, you can feel it. And it had a nice herbal smell. I really enjoyed this. I know that this was quite expensive. I think that this size, if you were to buy it, would maybe be about 20 pounds, but it lasted me all year. Because obviously you don't need a scrub. You don't need to scrub yourself every day. And then we got this from, oh yeah, this was from um, Glossy Box. I thought this might have been from the Look Fantastic Box, but no, this is from Glossy Box. This is the Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care Defense Anti-Pollution Leave-In Spray. So I really like this because it's got a nice, like a nice mister. Now you're working. It's got a very light aqua masculine, kind of body care, hair care sort of a smell. Um, I like spraying this on damp hair and then I would either put on like a different product as well just to add a bit of weight or definition. But I really like this. But the only problem is there was, and now I know some have just spritzed out there, but you've got all this liquid here at the bottom, but the actual container, like the little, like this, the tube that goes down, it, it doesn't go all the way at the bottom. So this can't really get in here. And I don't actually, I swear if this keeps, it's still spring I don't understand I literally like last month was going like why won't this come out it doesn't really come out properly I know that if I keep spritzing it eventually it'll stop and it won't work and that's not because it has run out it <laughs> it's because it'll stop eventually I know I know it won't we've got the bubble tea sleep lavender and lemon uh, essential oil calming bubble bath so this was $1.99 from B&M Bargains. Do you know what it is? Sometimes you just go to B&M Bargains and you end up spending a fortune. Or is that every time? Um, this, when I first smelt it, I thought it smelt a bit like sleepy. But when I actually got it in the bath, it didn't. But it had a very nice lavender smell. And if you are wanting something that's relaxing and calming, give it a try. It's like $1.99. It was like... On the 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 the, the that I went to, it was really high up, 
out of the way. So if you are short like me, it, it was a bit hard to reach. But honestly, for the strength factor, if you're wanting something relaxing and that's really cheap, just get a bottle of Redox. I think that's even cheaper than this. Then we've got Nip and Fab. So I got sent some of the Nip and Fab range. I've got some bits here. Like the Creme Cleanser, the Hyaluronic Fix Serum. And I got these um, Hyaluronic Fix um, Micellar Pads. And honestly, these are lovely. These are so refreshing. And again, with how hot it's been, I've been, re I, well, I've finished them off now, but really enjoying that kind of cooling sensation in the morning, just wiping it on. I will be honest, like, I. I didn't use them as often in the night time. Um, I think I just, like, I just forgot. I'm very lazy with putting on skincare. But in the morning, when you're feeling all hot and sweaty, there's just something about wiping this over and it just felt so good. Um, you got 60 pads. I think if you're using them every day, like twice a day, then they would last you a month, but it lasted me a couple of months uh, because I'm forgetful and lazy. And also I've still got some of the salicylic, salicylic, salicylic pads. So I was using like sometimes if I if if I could be bothered because I am lazy, using the salicylic ones in the nighttime because I did have the odd breakout and you're supposed to use those ones in the evening anyway. Whereas these you can use anytime. Um, I would recommend these if you see them on offer in Superdrug or Boots. These ones I think have come out in Boots now. Um, grab grab them because they're actually really nice and they've got like a little kind of waffle texture on one side and flat on the other side, but the waffle texture isn't like so like rough, sometimes when you get like waffle face wipes and they're really scrubby. This is like gentle. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, we've got, speaking of boots, I've got, I don't know where the lid's gone, but I've got some cotton buds. The cotton buds I use are paper stem, none of that plastic malarkey. But these are really good for obviously um, removing kind of like intricate eye makeup, touching up any mistakes. And I know you're not supposed to do it, but sticking it in your ear. Um, you did not hear that from me. I do not endorse doing that, but it's, it's, I do do that. I do, I do do, do I do 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 that. Um, we've got some Alberto Balm. This is the Sunkiss Raspberry, Raspberry Conditioner. I really love the smell of this. It says it's silicone free. It makes your hair feel really nice, smell really nice. When I was away, Alex actually bought another bottle of this. It's like a pound. Oops, it's like a pound. Sorry, I've just destroyed everything. I mean, I remember when an Alberto bomb was like 50 pence back in my day. Um, but I really like it. And if you are wanting some like affordable shampoo and conditioners, you only just pay like 20 pence more, spend a pound and get the shampoo and conditioner from Alberto bomb over the as as they had their own like own brand which i tried last in my last empties like the conditioner and that was terrible so just get the alberto bomb it's worth it and they do loads of different flavors um for your hair what was i gonna say about this i'm looking at it i've got a really funny story about my friend sean i remember um we went over to his for the first time when my friend first my friend karen was first started going out with him and he was saying like how he'd like bought this really expensive um, shampoo and conditioner and like he was like saying like how bougie like he was kind of like saying how bougie he was and he was like really excited about how this posh shampoo and conditioner and I just remember both me and Karen had gone into his bathroom and we you know we have a wee and you know he, he like knows and you have a look at like he's sitting there on the toilet and like, oh what's over here and what's over here and having a look around and I remember sitting there and I'm thinking where's this fancy shampoo and conditioner he was talking about Alberto Bomb. God bless him. And at that time, it was like 70 pence. Um, and I remember we both came out and we were like, Alberto Bomb, is that what you're talking about? And, he's like, and we kind of rinsed him about it. And I know it's, I mean, we, we, we laugh about it now. I think it's so funny. Um, bless him. I think it was an apple flavour. And, and I say flavour, obviously not meant to eat them, but they smell so good. Why wouldn't you? What else we got? The Aveda Botanical Repair Strength and Leave-In Treatment. My friend Joe and I went to the Aveda Count and Phoenix. Oh, end of, oh no, start this year. And I already had like the green version of this, which I th which was a, a try me from the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. But the lady gave me a little sample, I think of the same thing, but smaller. Can you believe that they would have even been even smaller than the Advent Calendar one? And it's just really nice and it has like such a nice herbal smell and mm, and it just makes your hair feel really nice. It's just so expensive. But I suppose if you do like a treat and that's like your one treat, then maybe you should try it. Um, oh, another thing from Glossy Box. God, I'm Glossy Box mad this month. It's the Cotton Candy from Lilu, Lilu, Filu, Filu? 
Um, is it Filu? I don't, I don't know. Bilu. Oh, I, you know when the fonts are really hard to read. Made with love, it's a creamy shower foam, so it's kind of like, oh, like a mousse. Um, it had a nice smell. It doesn't smell like cotton candy, it smells like coconut. And, you know, hang on, can you hear? Oh, it's stuck now. Whilst I'm not a big coconut fan, I did actually really enjoy the smell. It really smelled like holidays. It wasn't that moisturising on the skin and you kind of didn't feel like it cleaned your skin. Because even though you were like kind of massaging it in, like it just didn't feel like it was super washing your skin. So I did use other shower gels with this whilst I was using it. But I loved the smell. What else we got? We got some more Lush, more Lush. We've got the Don't Look At Me Fresh Face Mask, Lovely Hand Balm, and Gum Back Express Shower Smoothie. So don't look at me. I really like this. Have I got any left in here to show you? No, I've got a little bit of mold though. That's great, I'll give that another wash. Um, God, I'm so embarrassed. This is bright blue. It has ground white right in it and it gives you a nice scrub. Very brightening on the skin. It's one of my favorite fresh face masks. Other than Love Lettuce, R.I.P. Um, I really, really enjoy that. Lovely hand balm, it came out for Mother's Day. I've got one here actually I can show you. Some shops may still have this, other shops may have sold through. Um, I'm not too sure, but that's what it looks like. This is a backup. And it's got a very strong, I'm gonna put some on actually, very strong kind of powdery floral smell. Kind of, I think it is nine to five scented. I've literally, do you know when something's been so long? Yeah, it kind of smells like nine to five. It's so long, I, I kind of can't remember what it smells like, but it's a hand balm over hand cream. It doesn't feel too heavy, but you know it's moisturizing and it soaks in really nicely. And you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I've got crusty digits. I need to keep them hydrated all the time. Now we've got Gumback Express. Uh, this is a shower smoothie, but really it's a body scrub. And it was yellow with chunks of let me have a look, apricot, cur no, chunks of ground almond shells. So it was kind of like a bigger, it was like scrubby, but like not rough, like say ocean salt. So you could feel the scrub. Uh, and that banana smelled really good. It smelled like um, 1990s children antibiotics. I say this weird, antibiotics, antibiotics. Um, a really kind of nostalgic smell for anyone who was born, say, in the 90s or the early 2000s, or even if they still do it now, but that kind of lovely kind of artificial banana -y smell, I really enjoy it, and I'm here for all the banana smells. If you've seen my The Big Vote video for the uh, September's kitchen subscription box, um, you will know um, how I feel about uh, banana smells. Okay, okay, okay. I've got the Dead Sea, sorry, the Skin Tech, oh my God, Skin Techniques Lavender Dead Sea Minerals Relaxing, Rejuvenating, Cleansing, Therapeutic Salt Body Scrub. Got this when I got that other lavender thing from Bain and Bargains. $1.99 again. This was a very oily salt scrub. So all the salt had settled to the bottom and the oil was on top, so you kind of got to mix it round when you go to use it. Oh my God, does your skin feel smooth and softened because of all that oil? It doesn't lather, that doesn't foam or anything like that. It's just pure scrub and oil and I was there for it. I absolutely loved it. And I would definitely get it again. $1.99, bargain, absolute bargain. We've got something from 4-3 Ray Beauty. This is the papaya milk, face milk. Uh, the reason why I've kind of given up, even though there's still a little bit left in it, I'm gonna rinse it out before I recycle it, is um, it's, the, the nubbin of the, I don't know how well you can see, it doesn't go all the way down the bottom. So like you, you, you're trying to like get it out and it doesn't come out and then you're gonna go, then you've got to go like this and I just can't be bothered. I've got other serums and stuff to use. So I'm just gonna rinse out this little bit. It smells really good. I got this with the ColourPop Mystery Box. I don't actually know if the face milks really did anything for my skin. You, you, obviously your skin feels lovely and soft after using them, but I don't really feel like I saw anything, any benefits like brightening or repairing or anything like that. They were just like a little extra step before maybe putting on your face cream. So I don't know if I would get them again. If, obviously if they came, like if I got another mystery box from ColourPop and they came again, I think I would still use them and enjoy them. I just wouldn't go out of my way to buy them. We've got 
two body sprays from Lush. We've got Snow Fairy and we've got Lord of Misrule. I mean, what timing is that right before the old crimble? See if I can get any out. No, this is dead to the world. Is this? This is, oh, a little tiny bit. Oh, there's a little bit left. Oh my God. Great. Ah, yucky. I need to stop spraying stuff in my mouth. So this was from last year's collection of, no, it wasn't, Jesus. This is from 2020. Oh my God. So this is from 2020's Christmas. I must have something from 2021, unless I didn't buy any because I knew I had quite a few. And then this was from 2017. So this bottle is five years old. It should have been used up in 2021, but you know, if it still smells good, eh? So keep an eye out if you are a big fan of Lord Christmas Rule and you want a body spray this Halloween. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, wait, well I've got some I've got some small bottles here from Lush, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna power through them. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do small bottles of shower gel first. So we've got Merry Berry uh, Berry Berry Christmas, Grass, Ectoplasm and Snow Fairy. So we know that Snow Fairy is kind of floss scented, so I'm gonna put this straight in here. But what I thought was quite unusual, I'm gonna bring this back out of the bag, was that they also brought out Ectoplasm as a shower gel in 2021, let's have a look. So they brought the shower slime out to store um, to buy last Halloween, but they brought the Ectoplasm shower gel out as an exclusive to the kitchen subscription box, which I personally didn't vote for because I thought, well, why would I vote for that when it's already in the shop in, in a different kind of format? The Ectoplasm shower gel has had the same sort of formula as when they, they reformulated Lord of Misrule in about 2018, very thick. So when you, when you kind of squeezed it, it would come out as one big solid block. Again, that same fresh, bright, kind of citrusy smell. Um, I did prefer it to the shower slime because I prefer shower gels. However, it because it's so thick, you need to keep it somewhere warm so that you can use it all the time. Um, otherwise, it's quite hard to get out. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's, it's quite a joke between all my friends at work. I actually sprained my wrist squeezing this out in the shower. Um, and my, my, I really hurt my wrist squeezing this out. And I'm not like one of these people who's like, well, okay, I kind of do have, well, I don't really have weak wrists, but everyone says I have weak wrists. But yeah, I squeezed it out and it wouldn't have come out and I, I, I sprained it over a shower gel. Um, what I will say is that I do like behind the, the, the little sticker. For this one, it says, Mary loves dick. Um, all I'm gonna say is, is look up Derek Acora on YouTube who did like ghost hunters for the UK and he gets possessed or he talks to someone and it's an iconic scene from, from his show. Rest in peace. Uh, grass shower gel smells like a hot summer day with the grass being mown. It's really beautiful. I absolutely love this smell. I would love more things to be in the smell. It shares its scent with green bubble rune, grass bubble bar, um, obviously the grass solid perfume, liquid perfume, um, and that's really about it. I can't think of anything else. Obviously they have body lotions and stuff like that with the name, but there's nothing else with a different name that this links up to, but I would like more, please. Then we've got Berry Berry Christmas. This came out last Christmas and they had this really cute limited edition packaging, which I really enjoyed. Um, on, on, on here and I really wish that they would do more um, limited edition packaging um, for all the Christmas range like not just like the black labels like if they could have brought out all the packaging like last Christmas or even this Christmas like this with like a fun label so it really stands out against the black pots that would be awesome um, but this is a it was a blue shower gel with like um, silver or gold sparkles through it and it has an artificial sort of blueberry smell, not for me, so I just finished it off. Took that to Croatia, uh, to Paris with me. Then I've got the, woo, two things from Rituals. I've got the Rituals of Sakura, which Leah very kindly gave to me, and the Ritual of Haman um, massage oil. This has a gentle warming uh, kind of sensation to it. I bought this 
in 2018 um, with the lovely Jordan. It's organic argan oil and eucalyptus and you can smell that eucalyptus. I think that's why I really like the smell and I would really recommend it purely from the smell alone just to, to grab a bottle. And then the ritual of Sakura is, let's see if I can squirt some out, it's, it's a foaming um, wash. Not like a mousse like the other one, but more like an imperial leather kind of foam. And this has a lovely sweet floral smell. Really like that. It's, I will say like the Rituals range, it's very strong. So if you like strong scented products, you, you will like the Rituals range. Then we've got two products from Clinique. I really like Clinique. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting a bit like older. I don't know, but I really like Clinique. And I like this range. This is the Moisture Surge range. The Moisture Surge Overnight Mask is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. I did get some samples of the Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. And that's all right. It, I don't know if I'm gonna, gonna get any out, but it has like little bursting beads in it. It's okay. This is where it's at if your skin's like super dry and dehydrated. Oh, it's just great. It doesn't have a smell as well. So if you don't like strong smells in your skincare, I think you would really enjoy, enjoy that. Then we've got some big bottles of shower gel from the old Lush, I think. Let me have a look. No, just two, sorry, just two, yes. We've got Sleepy Shower Gel and Plum Duff. I told you, man, I'm working my way through everything. Be proud of me. So uh, Sleepy, obviously, Lavender and Tonka. I've got another bottle of Sleepy um, in my shower. Um, this one, if you've seen my Lush shower, updated shower gel collection, you'll know that both these shower gels, there was a little bit of a formula issue, so the colour had separated from the gel, um, and I rescued these so that they didn't kind of end up getting going to waste. But yes, I really love the sleepy smell, it's absolutely divine. It's it's lavender without being a granny lavender, um, though I do quite like a granny lavender. Then you've got Plum Duff, which was last year's shower gel along with Jolly and Snow Fairy. And this smells like those black currant lollipops you got as a child from Swizzle Sticks if you lived in the UK. I love the colour. It was a deep, rich purple. Um, there's not actually any plums in this, so I don't think it smells like plum rain. It doesn't. It's got raisin infusion full of vitamin C, so very brightening on the skin. It's actually inspired by a navy pudding called Plum Duff. Um, if you go to last year's Christmas video, you Christmas launch video, I can tell you all about the story of, of Plum Duff. I just wish that they turned the volume up in terms of smell on this. And I say this a lot about kind of like, um, it, it must be like black currently smells because like the Comfort Air, I say that as well, the Comfort Air body lotion, they just turned it up a notch. That smell, I would have really enjoyed this more and I think other people would have enjoyed this more as well. So that is that there. We've got a little hand sanitizer that I got free when I made a purchase in Boots. This is so strong in alcohol. It's absolutely minging. I don't like it. It was super stripping on the hands. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Then we've got the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I really like this. I've got another bottle almost finished. What I'm gonna do is, because obviously it's better value to buy the bigger bottles, but they're really cumbersome to use and also like the hole is massive. So when you are putting say a cotton bud up, eventually it ends up going inside. Then when you pull it out, it just pours out the liquid everywhere. Um, so, and also it's quite heavy because um, it's it's 700 mils. So I think what I'll do next time is I'll probably buy a big one and then get a medium size just to top up with. But I really like this and I, I like, I always hunt for it when it's on offer. So if anybody sees any micellar water on offer, let me know because I'm always wanting more. Then we have, uh, oh, ew. This tissue is proper crusty. This is the Mind Tan. Oh, it's from that same company that I got the, the gel from. Mind Tan Body Skin Coffee Scrub. So I really like these coffee scrubs. Like, this actually was one of the nicer ones, if I can recall. However, I hate this packaging that they put them in. These stinking little Ziploc bags. It doesn't work when you put your wet hand in and you're scooping out the stuff and then you're trying to zip it across. It never zips because you've got the scrub all up in the grooves. So you can't, and then it goes all hard and it goes scratchy when you next go to use it. It's not right. Also, if I recall, this was a deluxe mini. 
and it if you wanted to buy a deluxe mini it had an incredible value to it like super expensive like even the full size was really expensive and I'm like no no um so I would rather just stick to like a traditional scrub like this this one here do, do, do. hang on where's my aunt how am I doing this like this here um it's 1.99 big pot proper scrub yeah it's a shame because like I like how that that one felt like I've just chucked in the bin. It's just the packaging is a nightmare, and then also the price the price is right off. Oh, I forgot another ritual thing. This is the rituals of Jing Sleep Pillow Mist. This is quite a, again. It's very strong. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. A lovely, refreshing herbal lavender smell. I will say if you've got asthma like me. It is strong, so just bear that in mind. Like maybe you want to spritz that a few hours before you go to bed so it has a chance to mellow, so it's still there, but like not super intense. But it's really good. I also have this my friend Joe gave me this for Christmas. I also have the rituals of uh Mia or Mehe. I'm so sorry. This is the sparkling hair and body mist. This is full sugar. Um however, I don't know what about it is sparkling. There's nothing sparkling in here. It's very strong. I'm just going to spit some on here. It smells beautiful. The mists are... Mm, God, it smells so good. The mists are really good. They are super strong. I love their um, their room sprays. But it does take my breath away a little bit. Mm. What else we got? We've got some hair care from Lush. We have got um, Veganese, the old style Veganese bottle. We've also got some Valkyrie and Cynthia Stout, so some exclusives. So I never used to like um, Veganese. I always just think it was too light. Then these bottles here, they came in, and this is before it got changed to a pot. I need to wash this out more. This is grim, so sorry. Um, I thought I had unless it's gone all mouldy. It had kind of separated and hadn't gone right, and these were used for like display. Um, and then when we were changed over the display, uh, or they were, yeah, they got kind of put upstairs and forgotten about. Because this was made in 2019, and then we had a big tidy out in 2020. I was like, well, what's happening with these? And they're like, we'll just take them, because otherwise they're just going to get chucked out. So I was like, okay, so I took two, and honestly, it was the best conditioner. One of the best conditioners I've ever used. If you've not tried veganese, go get a sample. I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. And it's a shame that it's not in a bottle because I like to be able to squeeze it out. Yeah, I think it might be too thick for a bottle and that's why. Then we've got Cynthia Stout. Oh. <laughs> you know when you find the one? And then like Lush decides to discontinue it and, and break your heart. I shouldn't have done it. Do you know what's annoying? I went to Liverpool. I've got a Liverpool haul. This was like last year. And they only had a few bottles left and I sh and I I should have got two and I didn't um it is a protein stout shampoo it has like an iconic hippie lush smell it smells boozy but it smells earthy makes your hair feel and smell amazing and they just continued it oops I've just chucked that over there absolutely good then we've got Valkyrie conditioner so this is supposed to be quite a moisturising conditioner. It's rose jam scented. It's kind of like baby pink in colour. It's very thick. I liked it, but when I think of what conditioners I really like, I would rather have Candy Rain or Veganese. I've got a body scrub here. Ew, what in the hell is going on? Like, everything's like super crusty. Um, I've got this body scrub from uh, Prismology. It says Ruby and Cedarwood Invigorating Body Scrub. I got this reduced in TK Maxx. You know me. I love my TK Maxx. Are you guys missing the, the, the Treasures at TK Maxx videos? Because I haven't done one in like a year. If you are, and you're still watching by this point, let me know. Um, but this had a fine grit to it. It wasn't overly moisturising, but it had a nice scrub. And the scent was really strong. I really enjoyed this. This was like $6.99 in the sale. I think it should have been $12.99. I don't know what's going on with the social media, though. Because every time I try to tag them, it doesn't seem to have a social media account. So if someone finds their social media account, can someone tag me it? Because I would like to obviously tag them in like my reviews and my kind of my bath cocktails and things like that and I only seem to ever find one that's like from like um the United um, Emirates or or kind of over over that way like the Middle East so any UK Prismology accounts just let me know just let me know 
We've got a little Avon oil infused micellar water. I got this free when I bought some bits. It's okay. I would say it's a little bit stingy in my eyes. I find actually that Avon's cleansers, um, they're great, they're, they're really good for taking off makeup. This one's okay, I've had better. Um, like I'll say for example, where is it? Like this cannabis sativa oil one I've had since 2020 when it first launched is incredible at taking makeup off. You put it next to your eyes, and there's a big freaking don't put it next to your eyes logo. It's really stingy, and it's such a shame because I'm sorry, I'm just gonna reorganize it. It's such a shame because it's a really good product, and I'm thinking, you're making makeup remover, why can't I put it in my eyes? And it says normal to dry skin, no perfume or sulfate. It's all like I say, it's okay, but it was a bit stingy on my eyes, so that I'm not going to do that. Then I've got this. Bayless and Harding Water, Mint and Sea Salt Shampoo. This was Alex's, but I pinched it and finished it off. I'm going to put this in my Boots recycling bag. Um, it's okay. I've had better shampoos, but, you know, when, you, when we were running out in between, it's okay. I've got some more Lush bits. I've got another Cosmetic Warrior. Bloody hell. Going through them. And a Merry Berry. I love the Merry Berry. Yes, it's out of date. It should, I should have used it by... January, but it still smelled okay and felt okay, so I used it up. So I like that face mask. Oh my god, that bag is so full. I've got the little grow your own snowdrops pot. Um unfortunately my snowdrops didn't come to anything, but I think I forgot about them, so I think that's on my on my head. On my head. I've got two little bottles. I've got sesame suntan lotion, it's very well loved, and silky underwear dusting powder. I'm gonna pour the end of that out into the bin. The Sesame Sun Tan Lotion was an exclusive from the subscription box. They used to sell this in shop, in the shops, but they don't sell, they got, got discontinued, I think around about 2019, maybe. It literally smells like a sesame snap. Um, what I will say is obviously it's really good as like helping you get like a base tan. Um, I'm obviously very fair. I don't know how well you can see. This doesn't look that tanned on camera, but for me it's really tanned. Um, but if you, are also very fair and haven't had your skin out in the sun for a very long time you, you could burn and I definitely burned so just make sure that if you are using this maybe use it as to help get your base tan and then maybe use something like a proper SPF 30 or 50 to protect your skin because like I say I mean I was almost purple in bits not not because of that as fault but just because it wasn't I wasn't maybe applying it as often and, and, and it wasn't as strong then we've got silky underwear which is a dusting powder which you use like talcum powder but there's no talc in it it's got a lovely like jasmine smell but it's also got cocoa butter in it and it's really good for helping with chub rub which I suffer from um, or if you get under boob sweat it's really good for that as well I, I lived on this on holiday and I've actually got another bottle of it um, I really recommend it really really recommend it and then we've got the elemis oh my god why is everything minging i'm so sorry the elemis re dynamic resurfacing facial wash skin smoothing cleanse i got this from the look fantastic box it is okay there is nothing special about this but i know that this would be expensive um i wouldn't get that again nope then oh i've got a little um clamshell where i made a elephant in the tea room bath bomb just so you know if you've ever done product making and have these little cases these cases also go towards your uh, money off scheme so 50 pence off at the till so just bring them back in i've got the sandy foot scrub oh my god i got this in the last fresh and flowers box so good it reminded me a lot like the texture and the feeling of life's a beach body scrub i just I just, I just loved it. I actually ended, I did, did both my feet, and there was loads left. But I thought I kind of can't be bothered to like tape it back up. I'm just going to use it all up, and I used it on my arms and my legs before I shaved. <gasps> my God, so good! Please, more, more of that, please. Then we've got a turmeric roll cleanser, and we've got the Sakura cleanser. So the turmeric roll, obviously, you can get in places like. Oxford Street, Birmingham, Liverpool, and that is a lovely brightening facial cleanser. I would love this to be all stores. I feel like maybe the cleanser section could maybe do with a revamp or a refresh. Having that extra one there would be lovely. And then you've got the Sakura facial cleanser, and that came out for the 
spring fresh and flowers box and it was a little sakura blossom and it had red bean paste inside of it and unfortunately mine I kind of because it was in the packet I left it out it kind of went hard and it wasn't as soft as it could have been but it smelled so good and it felt so good and it was kind of sticky and it made your skin feel really lovely and soft I would love something similar like that or at least with that smell that smell is beautiful it's not like sakura but it smells really good we've got another candle this is the night orchid candle uh, it smells quite pocket. I mean, I can just smell a bit of burning as well, but it smells quite um, fancy. I'm going to assume a bit Tom Fordy. Um, that was from the Aldi Advent Calendar, and for 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 a cheap candle, I mean, it smelled pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And then last but not least, we have the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. Now, what I will say about this is, is that brands. I am just a nobody but if you're gonna do samples or minis or deluxe little bits right can you put on somewhere where this is supposed to go because I feel like I shouldn't have to hunt around the internet to see is this a hair mask a face mask a body mask a foot mask and now Sandra Sky obviously does a lot of skincare so I thought it's going to be a face mask, but when I seen Super Bounce, I thought, oh, it must be for your hair, maybe to add a little bit of mm, mm, mm. But then I looked up line, and it is, it is a face mask. It says glowing, it says, because it says glowing plumps, and I'm thinking, well, but then that contradicts the bounce part, and I'm like, I'm so confused. So just put it somewhere that it's for the face, or where it's supposed to be. It's okay. I wouldn't pay full price for it, that's for sure. That is everything. Oh my goodness, this is a long video. Thank you so much if you're still here and you're stuck with it. Let me know down below. Um, what you've been using up this month. Um, I'm always curious about what people have been using. Um, but if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers, which is crazy to say. And I have a few videos come out before this that say 2,500, but you know, we'll just overlook them. Um, but I just can't believe it. As soon as we get to 3,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway. So just keep an eye out on that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.